Yes! Oh, yes, W! My arms and legs were still so numb that I couldn't trust myself to get out of the room safely. I had to think of something else. I had to buy some time. Oh my goodness! <laughs> this is what drugs duty does to you, kids. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs, y'all. It seemed like the little girl was pulling the huge man's strings. And maybe he didn't really want to hurt me. So maybe I could reason with him? <laughs> this is the other option? This is the yeah. other option? Yeah. Maybe she was destined to die. <laughs> um. What are you doing? Kill her! <laughs> like, I don't want to! I don't wanna! I don't no wanna! <laughs> What's wrong? You know, look. Look, come on. I see you. You see me. We could be best friends. You know, why you why, why do you gotta kill me? You know? Relax. Let's forget relax. Let relax. Forget about her. Like, she got on that tattered up red dress. She got no drip, no sauce, no swag. Wait, like, on, your, on your daughter? Your no, daughter. that's what you can sing. That's what you can sing. Come on. Gee, that's crazy. That's what you can sing, bro. He suddenly doubled over, began clawing at his throat. She, man, <laughs> she said, bro, into a crisis. Bro does not want to do this. He does not want to. <laughs> Reasoning with him really wasn't going to work. He was too unstable. And if it came down to me or the little girl, I was sure I wasn't going to win. Now might be my best chance to escape. Oh, my lord. Oh, we're just gonna be casually in search mode. Should I like this? Like that bitch. Like that bitch. It's not even making noise. Is there any gas coming out? Hurry up, it's not working. I need time. to find something else. Bro, come on. Come on, please. Is this gonna work? It's a fussy. I don't know if it'll actually work. That's what I thought. No water. My throat is so dry. She's still looking for a quick drink. Oh my goodness, there has to be some way out of this. Bro, please. The door. The uh, door. Yeah. Might be able to get out from the front. No, the huge man is there. I can't get past him. Maybe if I find a way to distract him, I can make a break for it. Oh my god. We, we might be through. It might be over for us. It might be over for us. There's something over there. A faucet here. No. Oh my goodness. Oh shit, we're fucked. Yeah, it's over. We're fucked. There has to be some way out of this. What's going on? Am I fainting? Yeah, I was fucked up. I couldn't move any part of my body. I just fallen completely limp and my vision had gone black. I felt like I was being swallowed up by the darkness. And there was nothing I could do to stop it. It was seeping in every part of me. Big brother, help. Oh, fuck's sake. I'm about sick of this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We gotta find something cute, something hot, something sexy, bro. In that room to get out. We gotta get him nice. We gotta get him nice, hot, and steamy so he'll be distracted. We gotta show him porn. That'll that'll work. No, no, no. We gotta show him giving the Cubs guys like a picture of him, and he'll be like, oh, shit. You will. He'll win. immediately get erect. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? There's something there. There's something there. There's a bottle on the ground filled with a transparent liquid. Take it. Oh, on it might Bronson be gas. Burner. Yeah. I wonder what's in here. It's not water, is it? Hydrochloric, Hydrochloric acid. acid. That sounds like something that's that sounds like something that can burn. How long are you planning to squat there like that? Kill her. What you say? Kill her! But you're so annoyed. Instinctively, I threw the glass bottle at the huge man with the hammer. He f My bad? Oh my <laughs> he flinched and stumbled backwards. His hammer was still raised, however, and smashed into one of the light bulbs on the ceiling, shattering it. It's dark. 
But I might be able to get away now. The feeling had begun returning to my leg, so I wasted no time. Eventually yelling, excuse me, as I left, I darted, th <laughs> I darted through the dark lab using what I remembered of its layout to avoid obstacles and reach the door. Yeah, this game is so fucked up that they're probably gonna let you live. Yeah, they'll probably let you live, unfortunately. My bad, G. I, I look. I, My you, bad. Are you still gonna pay me overtime, though? <laughs> My bad, G. I ain't mean to lay to live like that. You, you know how I got. I just can't hurt little girls like that for real, man. You know how I be. Uh. You, you, you're docking my pay again, aren't you? <laughs> hey. Did you do that on purpose? I swear this is a comedy, I swear down. <laughs> no. <laughs> Worthless scum! Fix it or you get no more rewards from me. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Just go after her already. He sounded so sad. <laughs> oh, I can't feel bad for him. Oh, uh, he just wants his rewards. Bro, try, he tried his best. He tried his. He best. did his best. How many times have we crossed paths with that girl now? Maybe she has the paper scrap to keep her safe. Her fate hasn't been sealed yet. We were She's right. Immortal. We were She's right. Immortal. No, Angel, I mean, dang, my fault. Mm. Sonny, we were right in the earlier chapters that if you lose your paper scrap, you're fated to die. We were right about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did say that, yeah. She just confirmed it. I have to, I have to find somewhere to hide. I hope she loses that scrap. I could hear the sounds of someone else running just a short distance in front of me. I couldn't make out who it was with any certainty, but I did briefly catch a glimpse of a figure retreating into the darkness and it looked like... Big Brother? That was Big Brother just now, wasn't it? I took off in pursuit. If that was Big Brother, then I just had to catch up to him. What if you ate the paper scrap? <laughs> like, cause, cause technically, like, you wouldn't lose it. <laughs> like, no, cause well, it's going to dissolve in your stomach. <laughs> but it'll still be there, right? Bro, no, it's going to dissolve in Every, your stomach. But, what do you mean? but, but the stuff, but the materials that make it up, everything that makes up, everything that makes up the paper scrap will still be there in you. So technically, you have to scrap. Shoot it out. You're gonna shoot it out eventually. Let's be real, bro. They're, they're oh not doing God. none of that in here, bro. Okay, bro. He mustn't have heard me. <laughs> mustn't. He mustn't. <laughs> he mustn't have heard me. He mustn't have heard me. He got me. British on that shit. His pace never slowed, and I never saw him dis. And I saw him. He mustn't have heard me. His pace never <laughs> slowed, and I saw him disappear around the corner. He's not stopping. I have to go after him. Bro hurt her, he's just trying to get away. <laughs> <laughs> big brother, big brother! Fuck on my base, ho. He heard her and sped up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he turned the corner, so we gotta go this way. Alright. Oh my goodness, we're back to gameplay. I hope this isn't that I hope this isn't that confusing. It's really cold in here. It's music. Wooden shelving with a glass door doesn't seem to be locked. Unfortunately, there's nothing useful inside. No, not to be time to search these shelves anyway. Alright, bro, let's keep it pushing. <laughs> let's keep it pushing. Is down. Let's keep it pushing. Bro, this music just touches me in all the right places. Mmm, shit is hard. Big brother, where did you go? It's too quiet. I don't think he came this way. 
looking up. I should, I should look. I should look for him back in the main hallway. Are you? Are you sure? Are you, are you sure? We're getting the indicators here. We gotta go back. Oh lord. Oh no. Oh no. He's gotta be in here. San and Egimi no Nakashima san. Oh my gosh. Thank God we don't have to hear that no more. He's not in here either. Big brother? That's oh, not shit. him. Bro wants those rewards. Yo, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Yo, quick, we're getting, we're gonna get fucked over, dude. Go, 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 go! Gotta go fast. Nah, I wonder who said that. Uh, um, check in here. Wait, while we were looking for him, what is he gonna do? Big brother, big brother, are you in here? It's Yuka. If you're here, please come out. He's not in here either. The floor seems like it could give away at any minute. I'm scared. Where are you? Where did you go? Where did you go? He's not in here, huh? Bro, is nowhere to be found, is he? He nowhere to be found. What's this? No, yeah, let's not. There. Let's not. Yeah, you know what? You're right. You're right. There's Bro's gonna pull up. He's gonna pull up. I don't see that going very well. It's Yuka. If you're in here, please come out. She's desperate. Nope. Damn. <laughs> Bro's hiding from her. <laughs> that show would be so hilarious if he actually if he's trying to fucking run away from her. <laughs> Bro's about to be like, hey teacher, she's here! <laughs> What's that? Earthquake. What's that noise? Suddenly my field of vision began going topsy-turvy. Was I falling? It was an earthquake. But there was more than just that. The floor beneath me was moving up and down in time with the quakes left and right motion. Big brother! A, a big brother! I tried putting one hand on the floor for balance and getting back on my feet. I need to keep getting I need to keep going after Big Brother, otherwise I'll lose his trail. I thought I'd done it. I was standing now. And had started getting used to the vibrations. As long as I hugged the walls, I could walk. But that all quite literally came crashing down on me soon enough. The wildly shaking floor cracked and crumbled and I was free falling. I'm falling! Ah! Damn. Rest in peace. I swear, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Imagine. Imagine. I was about to say. <laughs> I would have been yeah, so. I, I actually would have been mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh lord. My gosh, this place again. We just casually have the exact same reaction. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I raised my head I'm and so found myself tired of the mine, bro. I'm so tired of the mine. I raised my head and found myself lying on top of the pile of rubble. It wasn't too much worse for wear, though. All things considered, where am I? I looked all around me frantically, but saw nothing even remotely familiar. This was definitely someplace new, and it didn't feel much like a school anymore. The walls and floor were made of from packed dirt with only railroad ties keeping them all together. Uh, it's really musty down here. I knew I was underground, I had to be. It just felt that way. There were no windows anywhere, and based on the smell, there was no ventilation either. It's really hard to breathe. Oh no, Big Brother! Big Brother might have gotten caught off guard by that earthquake too, I thought. He could be down here. It was a big one after all. Maybe he was injured. He, maybe he couldn't move. I I have to find him right away. I tried pushing myself up from the pile of rubble, ready to shoot to my feet and continue to search. 
It didn't last long, however. My hands and feet were still a little numb from the ropes. Making it hard to keep my balance, I fell back onto my butt. What was that noise? My underwear was completely waterlogged, like a full sponge. It's school. Oh, I don't. I don't want. <laughs> What's going on? I don't want to hear that. I forgot oh, I peed myself. What the fuck? I was so wrapped up in running for my life and chasing after Big Brother, I didn't even notice. But now I couldn't get it out of my mind. It's so gross. The fucking sound effects. Yes, the sound effects, they did not dude. have to do that. Tears were welling up in my eyes. How could I be so pathetic? I forced myself to my feet, doing my best to try ignoring the squishy sensation. I wouldn't be able to ignore it for long, though. They were un un they were noticeably heavier now, and it absorbed. And and and. <laughs> I just don't want to read it. I just don't want to read that. Read it. I couldn't go on like this. I was going to get a rash or catch pneumonia or something. And every step was going to be its own form of mushy, gushy hell. But what could I do? I could take them off, but then what? Carry them with me? Ew, yucky. Leave them on the floor for someone else to find? No thanks. Oh, bruh. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> I swallowed my pride, held back my tears, and did the as best as I could and waddled onward. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Respectfully, bro, I would have just took him off. I'm, I would have just took him off. You wouldn't let your dick swing, Zeke? I would have just let my meat hang, bro. That is fucking crazy. I would have had to do something, bro. Maybe, maybe they'll scare off uh, Sachiko and the, and, the, and the giant man, you know? Yeah, maybe they pull up like, yeah, I'm not catching the case. <laughs> Is there, is there anywhere I can go to get these off? Oh lord, this is how we're entering search mode. Um, for now, shut up! For now, let's save. <laughs> uh, I love what I, one thing I love, really appreciate about this game. Sixty-four, uh, all these save files, bro. I can, I can be a save junkie as much as I want. Huh, I wonder what's in the death room. <laughs> <laughs> we know how that fucking room goes. Yeah, we know how that went. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe the storehouse. Maybe they have extra underwear there. You know, we can just change out right quick. The door won't open. All the fucking doors are locked. Is it locked? I have to find someplace else. I wanted to say this earlier before she started talking about piss, but... <laughs> I was saying so far, at since like since this chapter so far, I'm not hating Yuka that much anymore, you know. Um, later every day. It's every showing. It, it's showing like a side where it's like, I like that they're actually trying to show her trying to be independent and not just crying about everything. I I I'm like that. I like that. Well, I mean, she just, she, I guess, you know, escaped successfully, so I can give her that, but, like, she's still crying out for her brother all the time. She's looking for the brother, so. Yeah. Like, if they could fix that, like, I'd be so, like, oh, my goodness. I probably would have hated her went to get it, and she went to go. She had to just say that she needed her prince. She, she just had, had to say it. She had to say that. <laughs> I almost when forgot I about that. She could be tolerable. I was trying I, tolerate him. I was trying to forget about that and you reminded me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I actually I did forget about you. that and you reminded me. I had me. to remind you. I had to remind you. Is this an actual bathroom? There's no Dude, protective what, There's it's no like that's just her it's like her only care the trade. Piss and bathroom. <laughs> there are no protective seals and no weird smells. The only bathrooms I've seen up to this point were unusable. Charms on the doors mysteriously sealing the room shut. Bodies hanging in the stalls. But this room looked to be this looking to be the completely normal bathroom. Certainly the most normal I've seen since getting stuck in this place anyway. Bro's a part-time janitor too. Gotta love it. She knows how they smell. Let's go to the death room. I can't just have to go to the death room. I can't wait to see what's in the death room. This music is hard. Oh! Nice. 
Oh wow, look, it's a bunch of death. <laughs> Why is there a dead body in the death room? <laughs> it's really dark in here. That's all you gotta it's say? It's very fucking, it's very bright. I don't know what she's on about. Yeah, tripping. It's like, it's like Brody doesn't see the buckets of blood and the smell and everything. Like, what the hell? It's a set of skeletal remains. There doesn't seem to be any way to determine gender from clothing or build alone. But there's a student ID name tag nearby bearing a traditionally feminine name. Sakura Mo yep. Motoy. Cabinet looks big enough to fit a whole person. It might make a good hiding spot. If anyone comes, maybe I should close myself inside here. But if anyone did come, it would be really scary. So maybe I should just get out of this room while I can. Shoot, we saw how that worked for two. Oh, shit. You should have got um, out of the room while you could. Bro, you were the one that put <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to go there. <laughs> the, the the door to the room suddenly slammed shut, and the inside of it was missing a doorknob, rendering it unopenable. It seemed I'd have been locked in. Oh my god! What do I do, motherfucker? Is there anything I can use in place of a doorknob? Probably not. It's fucking infamous as that room. Gotta love the death room, man. There's a thoroughly decomposed remains on the table here. Based on her general appearance, it's probably a very young girl. Tags, na name tags are affixed to her chest. Great Harbor Element. <laughs> Goofy name. Great Harbor Elementary Great School. Harbor. Mako Sakurai. Fairly large wooden table. Large stone sitting on the heavy wooden table. To, I'm, about to, I, I'm about to say, how are you going to take the table? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take the stone, take the stone. No, leave it, leave it, leave it. Go, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Now we can participate. Now we can participate in my favorite pastime. Do you know what that is? <laughs> what is that pastime? <laughs> Throwing rocks at people. <laughs> <laughs> what the? I thought you were going to say, like, skipping rocks in water or something. No, Why skipping not? rocks against foreheads. If I bang this against the door with all my might, maybe I can bust it, down, bust it open. Here we go. What the? <laughs> <fuck>? <laughs> the sound Did effect. He, she hit it twice and that's it. Uh, uh that's not gonna work. Uh, one, uh -oh, two. Uh, didn't she didn't even go for third time's a charm. Like, <laughs> dang. No good. It didn't even budge. Oh my gosh. Bro does not stop. He's hungry. Oh no! I think he noticed me because of all the noise I'm making. I need to find a way out of here quickly. I quietly and gently return the stone to its original spot. <laughs> Maybe we should have left the stone. <laughs> you might have been right about leaving the stone. I told you about leaving the stone, Zeke. You might have been right. A, a nail puller? Oh, how was I supposed to know? Pull that shit out. <laughs> Get the nail puller. <laughs> How was I supposed to even imagine a nail puller was in there? <laughs> if I stick this into the door, I might just be able to use it like a doorknob. It worked, now I can get out of here. Imagine, oh, imagine bros waiting for her because she hit the door. <laughs> so all we're of that was just for to, no reason. We're never going to that room again. Oh, we gotta go in there every single time. <laughs> no, bro. No, I knew you. I told you not to go in there. You know I gotta see the death room. You know I gotta visit right quick. That's my favorite room in the game. <laughs> what the fuck? It's locked. 
I wonder what Big Brother's doing right now. Oh my gosh. Big Brother. Do you ever take his meat out your mouth? <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I know that's wrong to say because that's like a child, but like, oh my goodness. Bro. It, the glazing is crazy. Like, yes, I, like, I don't bro, even... Like, I don't even I mean, mean she, it in well, a weird way, even, like... No, but like, that's the thing though, she means it in a weird way. That's she what I'm means it in a weird way, I don't. She literally means it in a weird way though, so it's not even wrong for you to say that, because she's on that shit, bruh. Oh my gosh. The door is sealed firmly shut, there's no way to open it. As expected. That's a, that's a little kid. Oh look, it's a little kid. I wonder if it's breathing. It's a set of skeletal remains. I wonder if it's breathing. It's a little kid. Given his tiny stature, it likely belongs to an elementary school student in life. Batman over here. There's a student ID name tag <laughs> halfway lost inside the poor girl's ribcage. Shihiro, Tama, Shihiro Tamamura. Uh, Chihiro. <laughs> hey, it reminds me of this guy I know. <laughs> Remind me of that one guy. <laughs> Remind me of that one guy. Turned into a computer. <laughs> You're so silly. This music actually gets me erect. That's a corpse, isn't it? Where? Oh yeah, I see it. It's a newly deceased corpse, practically still warm. It's easy to tell at a glance this was a female junior high school student. Name tag. Michi Moritoshi. All these people just getting clapped up like it's nothing. Is there like anything to like click though? Yeah, that's what I'm about to see. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, oh my gosh. I didn't Hold even on. see it. I was just clicking. <laughs> There's a loose piece of wood on the ground here. Take that shit. Um, nah, this might be useful for something. She doesn't seem very sure of that. You could probably stab someone to death with that. Kill them to death. I wonder if I can get in the stalls. I tried pulling on one of the wooden stall doors. Is anyone in here? I listen carefully for any hint of a response. I think I gotta to hold my breath. I guess if someone did respond, it would be pretty scary. But there wasn't a single sound to be heard. The entire room was dead silent. The walls were made from packed dirt after all, and there was there was a lot of moisture in the air. Effectively, the whole place was naturally soundproof. This is perfect, there's nobody else around. I backed away from the stall slightly and almost tripped over a fairly sizable crack in the ground. About five centimeters wide and one centimeter thick. <laughs> and you just know. You just know. Like. <laughs> this might be a good spot to hide them. She, she, a, ma she a mathematician, you know what I'm saying? Finally, I was able to get out of these waterlogged underwear despite being alone. I still crouched down to remove them as discreetly as I could. I stuffed them, in I stuffed them tightly into the crack I discovered. Love me some crack. The hole's not big enough. Some of it's still sticking out. Just leave it there, bro. That's I don't safe. care. If only there was a little more space. What should I do? Just leave it. I can use this piece of wood to dig in there and make it bigger. Oh my gosh. All this extra shit. Bro, if it was me, I'd just freaking toss it somewhere. Just toss it on the ground. <laughs> Bro. I'm saying, throw it in the toilet, bro. I'm so glad Big Brother doesn't have to see me doing this. Oh my god. Please don't let anybody find me until I'm done. Whoa, what was that? Especially not Big Brother. Not that Big Brother would likely wander into a girl's bathroom. But it was possible given the circumstances. 
So just to be safe, I figured it couldn't hurt to pray that it didn't happen. Maybe I should stuff them down even further. Like, her taking all this extra time is kind of making me think that maybe she wants her big brother to walk her. Yeah, like, maybe she now, does. Like, I, I'm about to bang my head against the thing shit. wall. Like, get to <laughs> it. It'd be embarrassing if anyone were to find these after all. Okay, bro, I get it. Um, yeah, I understand. I get it. Move on. Totally buried and out of sight. There's no way anybody would have come across it, even if they didn't know it was there. <laughs> Satisfied, right. I stood up. Great. I'm not reading that. I'm not reading that. <laughs> oh my goodness! What the? <laughs> uh, okay. It's been nothing but earthquakes since we got here. I wonder if this place will be okay. It seems even older than the school building. I peeked my head out from the bathroom and looked around. Nobody's out there, right? My voice echoed out louder than I was expecting. It actually surprised me. Considering the wet dirt walls, I didn't think sound travel would travel that far. I'm scared. If any of Big Brother's friends are nearby, please. Oh, I really want to wash my hands. Just spit on them and wipe it on the floor. What the fuck? I began walking through the hall once again, this time a bit slower and more unevenly due to exhaustion. Oh god, back to square one. Something got this. Why is the death room back open? Oh my god, don't go back there, bruh. I might want to revisit the death room. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, let it end. I guess I really can't open it. I wonder where the exit to this place is. What if since we're near the end, everybody else is like kind of at the point where they're preparing to exercise Sachiko and they're here? That'd be crazy. I mean, that I doubt it. That would be definitely crazy. I, I doubt it. I highly doubt it, but that would be crazy. I, I highly doubt it too, but you know, that would be interesting, no cap. Sachiko pulls up and starts hitting her and bashing her against the head again. Satoshi's good, I'm good. Oh, we can go in here now. The door to this particular room was shuddering ever so slightly, as if there were a breeze blowing against it gently from inside. I think I can open this. Slowly and hesitantly, I put both hands on the doorknob and started to turn. I guess I can go in. All right, let's see what's in here. Uh, I hope it connects to an exit somewhere. This is about to be a wrong end. Oh man. Uh, it smells awful. Oh, this is the room with like all those dead bodies in, in the in the water and stuff. As soon as the door opened, even the crack of powerful, even the crack. I remember that red and shit, like where you fall down. Yeah. Mm. As soon as the door opened, even a crack, a powerful, horrible stench slammed into my face and twisted around my nasal cavity like a jet of water. This is. The smell of something rotting. I was instantly feeling nauseous and lightheaded, as if I were suddenly deprived of oxygen. Why didn't she feel like this in the death room, though? I don't know. <laughs> I can't do this. I need to get out of here. That sounded like water. Is there water in here? Holding my nose, I stepped back into the room and crept over toward the source of the noise. If there were water here, maybe I could wash my hands, I thought. Where is it? My extreme thirst came back full force as well. Clean water was the greatest thing I could have possibly found at this point. I doubt the water's clean. No. Yeah, this is the wrong game. I accidentally kicked over a bucket spilling its contents onto the ground in front of me. 
Ugh, stop that, stop uh, that, stop that. That stupid bug sound. Countless flies immediately flew from the overturned bucket and began swarming. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Their buzzing wings no. sounded like, I hate this! It's a, right against my ears as if they were attacking me. I let go of my nose and began flailing my arms wildly, attempting in vain to drive them away. I can't even I can't even see I can't even see my hands in front of my face. As I had oh. heavily stepped forward, I found my foot splashing in shallow lit Stop <laughs> Mere moments later I came my hand came in contact with the wall and brushed against the switch. I heard a fainting clicking noise and then The lights blinked on and I got a clear look at the room I was standing in. What is this place? Are those bodies? A large portion of the floor had been dug out into something resembling a pool, which was filled with stagnant, discolored water and dismembered bodies. The bodies were decomposing a lot faster than they naturally would. On account of the wetness, most of them had swarms of maggots instead of faces. Several bodies had actually washed up on the ground outside the pool as well. Those few that still had limbs looked like they may lose them at any moment. Their torsos were all swollen and black and everything else was bone white. Why are there so many bodies in one place? The closest body was spurting a sappy mucus from its nose and mouth and staring at me with an ugly, nasty, mean expression. The thick fluid coming out of its reddish brown was red coming out of it was reddish brown in color and seemed to be a disgusting mixture of blood and dead bugs. Ew. What's that sound? Some sort of huge door high along the top of the wall opened up, and I could clearly hear a breeze blowing through the room. It was a trash chute? If I climb up here, Maybe I can get back into the school building? What? What is that? I I can hear something. It's getting closer. Hold on. This might be this might actually be good. Bro, what if I was right earlier? About what? About about it being at the end of the game. Like what if this is Ayumi and Yoshiki pulling oh, no, up? No, 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 no. Hold on. No way. That would be hard. Imagine. That would be imagine? hard. That would be no. hard. I no was way. afraid of. I was afraid of what what might be coming through that hole. So I put some distance between it and myself. Yeah. Come on. No way. Come on. Let it be. Let it be. Something heavy fell from above and splashed into the pool, spraying my face with rotten, stagnant water. Uh, a body. A body. We shouldn't have got a. I shouldn't. I, sh I shouldn't have said anything. Never mind. Well, <laughs> I might have got a little too excited. I got too excited too. The body that had just fallen into the pool was of water was wearing a school uniform. As soon as it touched the liquid, it began bubbling and melting into it as if it were a bag of ingredients tossed into a stew pot. You could look hungry, bruh. She got a munch. One of the poor victim's lungs floated to the surface, giving the whole scene even more of a sick soup-like appearance. Ew. I, I, I need to get out of here now. I can't stay in here any longer. I dragged my wet foot on the dry part of the ground for a second or two, then made a dash for the door. As soon as I was back out of the hall, I fell onto my I fell to my knees. I couldn't even move. The smell of death and decay was still sticking to me, and still trying to snake its way into my nose. It was all I could it was all I could do to not throw up on the spot. I hadn't even eat I hadn't eaten anything for hours, so I'm not even sure what I would have actually thrown up. But I still felt like I had to, more strongly than ever before. Maybe it would have been best to just let it come out. 
I'm sure it would have felt better afterwards. But I honestly didn't want to see my own vomit right now. Not after all the other disgusting things I'd seen, I'd had enough. Why has all this happened? At times like this especially, I really longed for my big brother. If only he were here with me. It's like a shot every time she says big brother. <laughs> I cried out for him as if in prayer. We're gonna be fucking dead. Big brother, please come save me. Come save me. Oh gosh. I can't move. Damn. <laughs> Is somebody there? Is somebody there? Uh, it hurts. There was a little girl with arm outstretched, begging for help. I rushed over to her side. What's wrong? Are you all right? You want to do Sachika? I guess so. Yeah, I'll do her. She was faintly glowing. Is she a ghost? Um, my stomach really hurts. <laughs> My chest feels like it's on fire. She seems to be in a lot of pain, but all I can do for her is... Here, I don't see any injuries. Is it painful? It hurts. Um, um, uh, um. All I could do for her was offer physical comfort. If I rubbed her back, maybe she'd feel better? Thanks. Arigato. I'm sorry. This is all I know how to do. It feels a little better now. Does it? I'm so glad to hear that. <laughs> the girl grimaced again as if she were experiencing some new pain all of a sudden. You shouldn't push yourself too hard, okay? Okay. So, did you get lost in here too? Uh, I don't know. I just woke up in here. <laughs> <laughs> She's so good at number, it. Number one instigator, bro. Number one capper, bro. <laughs> she, she just flawlessly lies. Oh, she's just like you, Zeke. Like, 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 father, like daughter. Come on. Yes, sir. I be sometimes I just be lying for no reason. I tell a lie and then immediately after I'm like, you lie all the time, dog. Yeah, I tell I tell a lie and then immediately after I'm like, why did I lie about that? <laughs> <laughs> Woke up. Oh, I'm so ah, I'm just fucking with you. I'm so alone. <laughs> I'm, I'm just waiting. That's exactly how she's gonna do it too. Like, that's exactly how she's gonna do it. <laughs> oh, so you've been all alone all this time? You've been a real trooper then. I gently brushed my hand against the little girl's face, wiping away her tears. Aww. I'd only just met her, but I already really felt bad for her. She had it a lot worse than I did. <laughs> So tell me, what's your name? Sachiko. Sachiko. Sachiko your name is Sachiko? Uh -huh. I'm Yuka. Yuka Mochita. Yuka? Big sister Yuka. Big sister? You want me to be your big sister? Hypocrite. Hypocrite alert. Hypocrite. Out here not wanting to be a little sister to the goat keys of me, but she wants to be a big sister. Okay. To be fair, to be fair, her hypocrite of me was trying to kill her. Those she literally finna kill her right now, bro. She doesn't know that though. Hmm. Oh, it's just a little weird to hear someone call me Big Sister, that's all. But I like it. I took Sachiko's, I took Sachiko's <laughs> tiny little hand in my in my own and pulled her to her feet. 
Yeah, Sanchiko's about Aww. to switch. She's about to switch up so fast. Look at her face. She's already preparing. <laughs> she's thinking she's of, already here. She's, she's already th- here. Yeah, she's thinking of how she's going to switch up. There you go. You can stand, right? Sanchiko's hand was so thin and light compared to my own. You fat piece of garbage. Not, not, not just light. It also, it also felt like it was completely weightless. I guess she really is a ghost. Yes, then I'll get the fuck out of there. Sachiko noticed me staring at her, and I must have had quite a look on my face. It seemed to bother her, so I did my best to force a smile. I'm sure she was worried I'd leave her all by herself again, and I wanted to make sure she knew I was here for her. What's wrong, bitch? I mean, bases. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. She let her true thoughts <laughs> leak out. Slip of the tongue? Huh? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about something else. I'm sorry. Sachiko lowered her head and looked like she was about to cry. Why are you apologizing? Yes. I think I'm gonna go all oh, hell no. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> she an asshole for real. Why is she so good at lying like this though? Like she's so good at it. Oh my gosh. I'm different from you, big sis. So I'm sorry if I scare you. The manipulation is crazy. Was just my fear really upsetting this little girl so much? That's terrible. I took Sachiko's hand in both of mine, turning to face her and ducking down a little so our eyes were level. It's okay. I'm scared of ghosts, but I'm not scared of you, I promise. You're not scared? For real? Then what if I eat you? No, I'm not. I am not scared of you, Sachiko. She is not going to take kindly to that. Sis, are you going to leave me? Um... I did have to think for a moment since I knew I couldn't take a ghost with me very far. But in the end, I also knew I couldn't just leave her. Well, will you come with me to look for my big brother? Your big brother? Yeah, he's really kind, really dependable person. I'm sure he'll be really nice to you too, Sachiko. Her head was still down, but her eyes were peeking up at me. She looked nervous, but for the first time since we started talking, she also looked hopeful. You don't mind if Sachiko comes with you? Sure, you're not alone anymore. Yuka, your big sister is right here for you. <laughs> Honestly, I was lonely too. I probably wanted her with me just as badly as she wanted someone with her. Ghost or no. Come on, Sachiko, let's go. I turned my head down toward the hall, but was stopped by Sachiko tucking on my uniform. She was wearing a forced smile on her face, but still looked uneasy. Hey, sis. Will you do what I say? What you say? <laughs> what was she going to tell me to do? I was so surprised by the question, I wasn't sure how best to respond. But the longer I thought about it, the more uneasy she looked, so. <laughs> Your big sister will listen to any request you make. No, don't say that. Really? Uh huh. You can ask me anything you want, anytime. Mm, okay. There was clearly something specific she had in mind, but I wasn't going to push her about it. She'd ask me when she was ready. She seemed satisfied with my answer and let go of my uniform. And so, hand in hand, we continued down the hall to search for my big brother. Oh, that's so sweet. Sachiko is such a she, sweetheart. She's she's literally just chilling with us. That's crazy. We're hanging out. That's so sweet. 
RC, we're going to say, I think we should end it here, bro. I'm getting tired as fuck. I'm not going to lie, I was getting a little tired, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is a long-ass chapter, I ain't going to lie. Is it, though? This Honestly, this bill is... I don't think this is going to be as long as the other ones. I don't think it's as long as the other ones, but... Not like, as so long far, as man. this. <laughs> Shit, not as long as Shangri-La, yeah. <laughs> I don't think nothing's gonna be as long as fucking glazing. Uh, she, a uh, fucking Shig was going crazy that shit, right? He you know was what? glazing those corpses. <laughs> he was glazing those corpses, bro. I was gonna say, oh, uh, yeah, crazy shit is going down right now. Yeah, bro. I saw the goat keys me again, so I'm happy. Yeah, well, I'm satisfied just seeing keys me, hearing his voice acting. You could kind of put it down a little bit, but. Keys hey, bro, face you know, Sachiko brought it back up. You know, I got to see my girl. Sachiko, you know, she bringing it back. Ain't I got to see my daughter. Makes daughters. me excited. But, yeah. hey, if y'all enjoy, peace out. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I read them all. Love y'all. Tap into the next one. Got some words from Sunny. Sonny? See y'all on the next time, man. This is Sunny, and good night. Woo! That's hard. All right. Peace out. I love y'all.